Yes, sir, we are live. Great. Hello again, everyone. Our speaker for the evening now is Mr. Jatin Solanki. Mr. Solanki is the co-founder of Expertons, world's first video AI bot assisted platform for professionals to prepare for interviews and get hired through referrals. He has been part of multiple early startup companies working hand in hand with their product team. Previously, Jatin and his team of 150 plus employees have developed educational games to make learning fun, easy and accessible to everyone named Edu is Fun. Jatin got featured in multiple national and regional dailies for Edu is Fun. His other venture was an educational venture, Spoonal, that won the third position at the Global Student Entrepreneur Awards 14, Mumbai chapter. Now, without further delay, I would like to hand it over the stage to Mr. Solanki and urge our participants to drop their questions in the Q&A section, which sir will address after the session. Over to you, sir. Great. Uh, so thanks a lot for this opportunity and uh, glad to be here to be in front of all of you and to present uh, to all of you about uh, how technology uh, can contribute and help with uh, making you more employable or, or uh, helping you in your professional growth. And I mean, there is, I mean, there is a lot said around this topic or there is a lot of things which are required in this topic and like all of us being from different domains, from different colleges, from different uh, uh, backgrounds. One thing which we all desire is of course a professional success or professional growth. And uh, that's something which is, uh, which is very important. And uh, of course, I mean, uh, if, if I just, if I have to just start with my background and my personal journey from right from college to like right from my internship to hire how and, and it's been now a decade like uh, I, I'm a second time entrepreneur last 10 years I've been in education technology my previous company was largest gamified learning venture where we served close to 2 million students in the k-12 domain uh, we worked with top private schools top government schools uh, we were backed by Mr. Amitabh Bachchan as brand ambassador and uh, did a lot of interesting things in the K-12 domain. So we made games through which kids can play, learn maths and science, prepare for Olympiads, um, uh, do a lot of interesting things in that area. And uh, uh, I mean, of course, if I have to just like take my, my journey a little uh, even further or little even back, um, while I was like in my college, like at IIT Bombay, uh, of course, the, the process of uh, professional growth kind of began right from there. Like, Right. I mean, the, the, the first internship which I desired or uh, the first knowledge which I got about uh, knowing about a professional journey was mostly from my seniors. So a very important component of your professional growth is your network. And like for you to have that right network, you uh, may have it in your college. You may not have it in your college and you may need to find it from outside of uh, where you are uh, yourself. And and it is very critical, like um, in India alone, there are 30 million aspirants in their higher education who are looking for a dream job, dream internship, dream B-school. Uh, majority of them are first generation graduates, like they don't even have graduates in their family who can guide them. And uh, many of the tier two, tier three city colleges lack an alumni cell, lack a placement cell. And, and this is very critical, like the, the, this content is not democratized, not everyone is aware of um, uh, I mean, what they need to do to kind of say land a top technology job or to land a top uh, consultancy job or so on and so forth. And all this content is available with people who have already achieved it. So I'm sure, I mean, you like we all do that, right? I mean, someone who has already achieved, um, say, uh, IIM before us, we want to kind of know the secret of uh, everything they have achieved from them. And or maybe someone else who has kind of achieved, say, landing a dream job at a Google, Facebook, Microsoft. We all want to kind of know uh, a lot of uh, things from them. And so, and and that becomes just that becomes just the starting point of or the premise of what what we are currently building. Um, and uh, I mean, uh, there are 80 million white collar professionals in less than three years of experience uh, who are essentially looking for a switch. Globally, there are 1.85 billion professionals who are looking, I mean, in their lifetime, they are going to make at least five to seven career changes. And in each of these career changes, they'll be requiring this help. They'll be requiring someone who can guide them uh, for the natural next step. And like when we saw this problem, like, like, and again, given our history, both me and my co-founder in the last 10 years, we've hired from across India. We have hired from colleges in Bhopal or Hyderabad or uh, Kharagpur or so on and so forth. And 
like while we were doing that we have interviewed over 5000 candidates and what we realized is that there is a finishing or there is a polishing which is very much missing like the education system and and the education which we get is very different from what an industry is demanding and and if we are polished or if we are actually aware of um, what is required for us to land an opportunity we are more prepared to kind of get that opportunity and and some of these things which i was kind of taking for granted which which maybe because of iit bombay i got a good network of people whom i could talk to or maybe my seniors were helping me in my resume so some of these things which i took for granted is not available uh, outside or is 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 missing a lot and by the way even uh, at a at a place like iit after placements i realized that hey there existed a company which was say uh, based in amsterdam a trading firm for which i could have prepared even even being from a civil engineer background i could have prepared for that but i had no clue that i could prepare for that uh, and that the, the whole reason uh, because i had no clue was because maybe i was just connected with two seniors who could guide me on technology based firms and i didn't i had no idea about a trading based firm and this is very critical like there, there is a there is knowledge which is missing like most of us don't know like what we can get into or how we can get there and whom we can talk to to get there and and this is a very big uh, this was a very big um uh, space which was kind of pending there this content was not kind of uh, democratized for everyone only a few who had this access who had uh, good access to talk to people were actually getting this access and that's that's what like me and my co-founder we wanted to kind of solve for and and this is where like the the uh, i mean these these professionals or these students or these aspirants they don't want to click on connect 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 and wait for someone to help them and this is very critical like right like a lot of us uh, would like to connect with other people and maybe we are not able to get that connect with uh, other people and that becomes very uh, critical part of uh, 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 kind of not getting the help which we desire or which is required by us or neither do we want to go on a glass door read a question read a answer and there is anonymous written below it so we are not even sure whether it is coming from the right source uh, whether it is actually um, it, whether it is actually suited for me or not and 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 it may be the google mountain view experience and not a google hyderabad experience which is kind of listed on a glass door so given the gravity of all these problems which were out there uh, and other than that of course the education system as i mentioned uh, even in the education system as i said that Uh, uh on 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 the education side what the universities or what any college is selling and not not only i'm not only talking about uh, and i can actually see a lot of you guys from different universities from government college from icfi from from even iits and all these different places but it is not only about which college but what the education system is offering is they are used to offering uh us courses for which people are used to paying right i mean Uh, uh people can actually what 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 they are used to offering is say say uh, the, i mean the universities know that someone will pay say 10 lakh rupees for a mechanical engineering so they keep they want to kind of sell you a 10 lakh rupees mechanical engineering course okay because, because for the last 100 years people have been paying 10 lakh rupees for a mechanical engineer maybe of course the price may be changing but people are used to paying for a mechanical engineering metallurgy engineering civil engineering or say a bcom course or some other course but academia versus industry is very different right um uh, so so and and there are people who complete their aerospace engineering and feel that hey a boeing is going to hire me or mechanical engineer may feel hey an audi is going to hire me but that's not the truth okay the market requirement or the openings or the jobs in that market Uh, becomes a very critical feature uh, and becomes a very critical thing that whether you are going to get placed in that particular domain and this is something which uh, all of us need to also realize it is no, not only a factor of like me getting a job is not only a factor of how good i am like maybe i am the best possible civil engineer but maybe if in the market there is no requirement of a civil or very little requirement of a civil engineer i may still end up not um uh, getting a job in civil engineering got it and and this is very critical like all the jobs are now staggered towards say technology maybe towards development and most jobs are shifting towards that because automation is happening even in manufacturing a lot of industry 4.0 automation is happening uh, on the on on this side we still see 
that co courses or degrees or whatever are being sold are still very staggered toward what what people are used to paying and this is very um, uh, this is very moving fact which all of us need to kind of realize like what is the industry demand and are we actually preparing ourselves for those industry those particular industry demands and that's where uh, me my co-founder we came together and we started uh we we started discussing and we came up with a solution uh which which is essentially suited to kind of solve for this uh entire thing and our solution to this entire thing is essentially expertrons and expertrons is essentially netflix for careers when i call it netflix for careers in a very interesting way uh it is essentially a platform where a lot of experts can come and they can share their experience in the form of uh, a video bot and that's our patent pending video bot technology and by video what i mean how on linkedin you can only go and read about jatin jatin's uh, uh i mean uh, uh, career history like where i started what i went to and so on and so forth on expertrons you'll be you'll be able to talk to my pre recorded career experience so you can actually come you can essentially um, uh, tap the mic you can ask a question you can get an answer and that's a very interesting format in which we have kind of uh, um uh, made video bots of experts on our uh, on our platform and in, interestingly the first 100 experts were the most difficult to get we had to push our uh, friends batchmates seniors juniors to come on the platform and share their experience from different companies of how they landed uh, a career in uh, different uh, i mean in, across different uh, sectors and uh, the idea here was to have to become this largest library of career experiences and uh, the first 100 experts were the most difficult to get they and the remaining 4900 actually came in more easily so now we have more than 5000 experts on the platform they are sharing their experience of uh, more than 100000 minutes of content on the platform and uh, their experience uh, they are sharing their experience from say a google facebook microsoft oneplus sika capital jp morgan morgan stanley not only a job or an internship not like also tcs infosys wipro not only a job or an internship but also say a b school like iim isb harvard business school so on and so forth and it's made in a very interesting fashion like um, these experts can be anywhere in the world so someone sitting in a stanford library today can download the app and start recording their career experience on the platform and which which makes it very seamless which makes it very uh, interesting and when i call it netflix for careers i mean how a netflix is recommending you that hey um uh, uh, i mean uh, because you like comedy so these are the movies you should be watching so what we did is we we made sure that we used technology in the best way to map the right experts with the right aspirant and for that like as an aspirant if i come from a tier 2 city in rajasthan i have done my engineering from uh, um, say an iit bombay and i want to go to say fmcg companies i'll be mapped to experts who are the most suited for me so i'll be able to get experts Uh, who are who were from a similar city as me who were from a similar college as, as me if i want to go to fmcg companies i am recommended experts who are from say a png itc unilever patanjali so on and so forth and and this makes it very interesting like uh, getting recommended experts from your um, a desired place you want to go to or from your background is something which uh, which will essentially map and which will essentially be like your virtual alumni cell or which will actually be like your virtual placement cell uh, and this is very interesting i mean the conversations which uh, which are possible via doing this is very interesting like uh, this 100000 minutes of content um, uh, every expert is sharing their experience of uh, so someone in google may be able to share things like how they prepared their profile to make sure they land an opportunity in google so just a simple example so say if i am from a lovely professional university and this expert is from mit university and i am talking to this expert's video bot and uh, so so even before talking to this person one on one i am able to consume a lot of content and this expert's video bot will talk everything about uh, what were the tests he had to prepare for or say data structures and algorithm is what they had to prepare for so i can i i'll be able to talk to the video bot and then i'll be able to book a one on one consultation with these experts and then uh, when i talk to these experts one on one maybe this expert will tell me hey jatin uh, machine learning at google sorry you're not prepared for it uh, because seeing your python you you look okay as in in python but shit your tensor flow is not up to mark and what i feel is maybe you are suited uh, to join as a backend developer at a startup in a, and that is what i did 
and maybe after a year you're uh, you're also preparing for tensorflow and then you're applying at google and you have a higher chance of getting placed at google so that's the kind of conversation you have with people who were exactly in your shoes a few years back and this is the right uh, like path to uh, kind of being successful professionally actually talking or actually uh, getting the right funde from people who were exactly in your shoes couple of years back and they are able to guide you to where you can land uh, your career into and this is a very uh, interesting way how uh, how we kind of put all of this together experts of course uh, came in here for various reason for different reasons some of these experts uh, uh, i mean there was a fame factor to it so they became popular on our platform so they have more than 50000 views on their video bot some of these experts are here for social purpose so during the day they are busy say working in technology but their video bot is helping um uh, their video what is actually helping thousands lakhs millions of aspirants there is another social angle that he uh, i can do this pro bono uh, i i want to do it free of cost or I, or i actually whatever i earn on the platform i want to actually donate it to some charity so they can choose that way i want to donate it to say a covid cause or some other cause so they are doing it also for that purpose and then of course there is uh, another uh, angle to this entire thing which is uh, uh, monetizing your network so a lot of these experts are already popular on a quora on uh, they are already popular on a uh, uh, linkedin so they get 20 request every day but they don't know how to monetize their network and this is something which is uh, very interesting like instead of forwarding a, a calendly link they essentially forward a video bot link and out of the 20 people which are requesting them 15 people will watch your video bot will be happy and maybe just five people will uh, talk to you one on one uh, and would like to kind of and this is essentially monetizing Uh, the network for a lot of these experts who are uh, out there and that's this is something which is which which was made in a very uh, uh, interesting fashion interesting format uh, interestingly now we have more than uh, now we have more than uh, 250 million minutes spent on our android app alone uh, we have a lot of uh, aspirants and experts who have benefited from just so so th- there is a free layer which is a premium content people can come watch this content they can benefit from it so the lot of people who are coming here watching the content uh, are able to uh, gain the domain knowledge which they didn't have before right i mean you don't need to like like while we were preparing for placements we didn't have a single place where we could know about the different opportunities which are available in front of me but now like even before like say if your placements is next year right from now you can kind of spend the time on an expertron app and get to know that hey what are the different opportunities available across say a marketing business development so on and so forth and you can kind of engage like 5 minutes every day you can kind of engage with the video bots and you can kind of gain a lot of knowledge in that particular space so say if i want to i desire to get into marketing i can actually understand from people who are already working at marketing roles in different companies like what did they prepare for what test did they give how did they reach there how did they land an opportunity there and this makes it very uh, interesting like uh, matching you with the right experts giving you this content for which you can kind of consume all of it and then you can desi- decide to kind of book a one on one consultation and post which of course we have built the entire ecosystem around it so a uh, 360 degree full stack solution on soft skill on hard skill uh, you also get to uh, get referrals from these experts and this is very interesting like um uh now when this expert is talking to me this expert is getting paid for their time but they also know that there is a referral bonus on the platform so now this expert is also hand holding me to land a dream career so now this expert will also choose to refer me to their current company or previous company so now uh, and when the example which i gave like i am from uh, ltu and this expert is from mit university and when, when this expert tells me that hey jatin your python looks okay so what you need to actually do is from your backend you essentially need to um uh, you essentially because your backend is good you need to join as a backend engineer at a startup and post which you need to prepare for tensorflow and then apply for a um a say machine learning role at google so now uh, this expert what this expert will also tell me is hey jatin because your python looks okay let me refer you to my previous company and maybe in a year when you reach back to me i'll refer you to google as well and this makes it very very interesting like the expert network is not only for me to get guidance but also for me to get referrals from um uh, referrals from these particular uh, uh, candidates and i can actually these expert network can actually give me referrals or inroads to so many 
uh, different companies and uh, like putting all of it together this is very interesting like i i am getting this referral i am getting referrals from these uh, uh, experts i am also getting to apply at companies which are our partner companies and we have our career portal where we have uh, a lot of openings which are uh, listed on our platform and you can actually apply to these openings and this is very um, uh, interestingly kind of formatted uh, on our platform and uh, and we have actually seen a lot of impact which has been caused out of uh, what we are building of course the free content is something which is useful there is the second layer where people are coming they are actually um, they are essentially uh, uh, coming here watching the content booking a one on one consultation so we have real examples of people writing back to us saying hey um, uh, i have booked this one on one uh, consultation i was earlier working with deloitte uh, after the consultation uh, with someone who was working at bcg i got to uh, clear an interview with bain and company so now i request you to add me as an expert on your platform so i have benefited from your platform so we have got e- emails like those also the first consultation call which like happened like we are now a 20 months old company um uh, we have grown 60 uh, times in terms of our revenues in terms of our users in the last one year we are backed by uh, uh, experts like kunal shah mr anand maheshwari who is uh, microsoft india's president iv cap ventures so a lot of uh, interesting investors have kind of backed us we also got a acquisition offer about 5 months back from an indian unicorn uh, so so this is very interesting um the, the first consultation call which happened like 8 months back Uh, was from a third year engineering student in amravati who booked the one on one consultation with someone um, uh, who was working at google uh, and and this is very interesting like when this aspirant is talking to the video bot first uh, they are coming with a very clear set of questions and uh, before this it was not possible for anyone uh, to kind of like you can actually pay a 300 rupees and buy a ticket and watch say a ranveer singh movie but you cannot actually uh talk to someone who is already at google or talk to someone who is already at these top places uh with respect to kind of getting the right guidance with respect to getting the right reference and it is not only people who are just starting their careers it is not only about people who are looking for jobs even people with entrepreneurship background business background even people who are experienced like people who are five year experience in their careers and i don't know how many of you are already working but people even five years into your careers you guys will realize that hey uh there is there is a professional ceiling which has come uh your resume may still look bad and may require a transformation um uh, you may still require help with connecting with companies where you can kind of go to so all of this put together kind of makes a lot of uh, um uh, i mean is has a lot of impact on uh, and and we have actually seen even experienced people coming on the platform and kind of taking help from us in in this respect and yeah so that's that's the gist of what uh, we are building at expertrons uh, also how technology uh, can help you land a better career prospect uh, and um, yeah i mean uh, i would uh, i mean interestingly um, the the best way you can kind of build your career i mean internships are kind of the best way to kind of um, uh, polish your career and then of course talking to the right people who are out there so these are a few things which uh, uh, i mean you need to focus while you are kind of building your career uh, and and talking to the right person or surrounding yourself with the right person kind of helps you reach there even faster and uh, your and w- one thing which i truly believe in is that you are a combination of five of your closest people and try to kind of surround yourself with people who are uh, who have great ambitions who have already reached somewhere really good so that you also have the same professional ambitions and you also have the same uh, growth um, appetite or growth desires which you want to uh, get into because it's very easy to kind of uh, uh, settle for an average life but but what i would desire for all of you is kind of to uh, to have really good aspirations good dreams uh, and make sure that you kind of learn from your own experience and are able to land a, a really good opportunity for yourself in terms of growth in terms of your career prospect and uh, of course i mean uh, uh, expertrons just being one of those platforms where you can kind of get this expert network uh, but polishing yourself from by uh, by actually learning by doing and actually doing an internship and learning from there is something which i would highly uh, suggest you and I, i i was i was also listening to the previous uh, speaker and he did mention about um, how um, working at a startup will give you that head start so so that's something which uh, i would highly recommend to all of you also 
uh, that startups uh, and like working as an intern or full time at a startup of course gives you a lot of learning uh, all together and uh, like i mean of course and and my in my journey i've done all of that right right i mean in the, in the campus itself um, in my second year internship was a research internship in malaysia uh, again i got it myself it was not through an entrepreneurship uh, it, it so it was not actually through the placement cell of iit bombay i had to kind of write thousands of email and cover letters and send resumes and do a lot of things so i sent it to us i sent it to europe i had to i said no let me actually send it in asia maybe those universities may listen to what i'm writing and i actually got a, a, a an internship in 2010 uh, and without the placement cells help like i had to drop in le- uh, more than 1000 emails like just sitting in the library to kind of get that particular uh, internship then i did a res- uh, then i actually did a core engineering civil engineering internship in bangalore um, in my fourth year i had my own venture so we sold goods worth 30 lakh rupees Uh, in the campus, so we had to source some suppliers from Delhi, from Bangalore. I had to source Dell, and I had to supply uh, a lot of these things to these different places. So we we supplied like 30 lakh worth of laptops, mobile phones, hard drives uh, to a lot of these places. So it was a very uh, interesting experience which I had like in 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 my fourth year, and then I was also working. Uh, uh, with a big company in Bangalore, and uh, uh, for for a small while. uh post which i kind of left the company and i started on my own in education technology and last almost last 10 years i've been just doing education technology and and startup and uh, of course i mean it's a very uh, different experience altogether but a lot of learning uh, of course for people who work at a startup or who even start a startup both uh, i mean it's 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 an accelerated kind of learning and it's a very different kind of um uh, feel altogether so so for you i mean if even for your own journey Uh, i would highly recommend that uh, uh, you do kind of uh, uh, give that time uh, in your learning because early in your career your learning is the most uh, important aspect because that is going to help you in a really big way for your professional growth because like anything and everything you learn from a book from uh, from your courses from your degree uh, that is just going to be one part of it but uh, uh, anything and everything you learn by experience is something which is going to stay with you so any time you open your mouth in an interview or in front of anyone uh, it will actually show that you have worked a lot on yourself you have learned a lot and anyone and everyone be it that company be it any other company will desire or will want to work with you so so i think that would be a few um, kind of a, a few words i would like to kind of uh, leave you with uh, would be happy to kind of answer uh, any of your questions Yes, so you can kind of drop the questions in the Q and A. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, now we will receive some questions. The first question is from Neeraj, who says, "With limited funds, could I target the market for gaining publicity or invest it on the growth of my product?" Uh, so I mean, this is always going to be a tough uh, question for your like for uh, for an entrepreneur, maybe. uh because i mean um, so so uh, i mean at different stages like people think that maybe you get an get a fund raise on an idea but because we live in an in an age where you can do a lot of these things by just i mean uh, you have a lot of tools to kind of get um uh, you have a tool to kind of get a lot of things done at a very easy process like you can actually make a logo by just going to a logo builder website and you can type in and you can submit and you can get a logo you don't need a photoshop to kind of design a poster you can go to canva and like make these posters in in 10 minutes and you can you can so so very interestingly you have tools to kind of um, take a lot of these things very fast uh, you can you can kind of bring it to life and even for product like as as you said like i should i invest in the growth of my product or um, uh, should i target the market market for gaining publicity i would not say that you should um uh, uh, i mean uh, the prototype should be built very quickly and you what you don't need to even have the product like interestingly uh, what are you trying to solve is what you need to understand so so if you if you want to just test the waters to understand k is there a market for say automatic fans so what you need to actually do is you just need a landing page or you just need a ad which you are kind of 
uh, running on Facebook very quickly and running a Facebook campaign is also very simple. Like uh, Neeraj, I can I can see Neeraj from NIT. Uh, you can essentially like just Google how to run an ad on Facebook and you can run, like uh, learn it overnight. And next day you can actually run a 500 rupees budget uh, ad and these posters can be made on Canva and you can launch it. And you don't even need to bring them to your landing page. Like you don't even need a website. You What you can do is when they click that ad on Instagram, they'll just fill their data. So they'll just fill that, hey, I want to buy this automated fan. And uske pehle, you don't even need the automated fan, by the way. You can just start with tying up with someone and say, hey, I want to automated fan China wala acha laga hai, ya kisi dukaan mein jake, mereko aapka acha laga hai. I want to buy it white label. Ki, mereko white label lena hai, uske upar Neeraj fans likke mereko sell karna hai. So you don't even need the products to sell the product. Uh, what are you trying to test is very important. So if you are trying to test that what automated fans are buying, then you will run ads and you will see that there is interest. If there is interest, then you will call and say that you are buying it for 3,000. So you also know that price discovery is going on. So, so a lot of these things can be done in a very smarter way. You don't need the entire thing. Like first version of our product was a very basic product. We like coded it in 4 weeks. And जो होता है ना कि कैंपस में आप चार लोग मिलके उसको कोड करके बना के आपने लॉन्च कर दिया हमारा जो ई कॉमर्स था जिसका हमने 30 लाख वर्थ के प्रोडक्ट्स बेचे थे फाइनल सेमेस्टर में कैंपस में वी ओनली सोल्ड इट ओवर मतलब हमारा कोई वेबसाइट नहीं था वी स्टार्टेड विद आवर फेसबुक पेज कि फेसबुक पेज था वहां पे लोग देखते थे एंड हम साइकिल में जाके डिलीवरी करते थे एंड लाइक ऑल ऑफ दिस कैंपस में सेल 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 के पोस्टर लगाते थे तो यू डोंट इवन नीड like all the tanjan yeah all a yeah, lot of money to kind of do all of these things you need to be smart about it you need to use the right tools and you can kind of uh, have enough budget to kind of uh, do uh, one or the other thing so the aim of the experiment aapke liye bahut important hai ki aapne aim kya set set kiya hua hai yeah thank you so much sir thanks the next question is from ayush how can young enthusiasts be guided and an idea can be nurtured building on its potential? Yeah, so kafi wide hai, Ayush. Uh, but uh, I mean, what I would say is that in time, pe na, there are seven people, like there are seven billion people on the planet, right? I mean, in time, pe, the same idea is being ta- thought by seven people across the world. product I want to kind of uh, make it live or I want to make it happen. It's, I mean, it is very difficult to kind of um, uh, take that first step. The, the most difficult part is to start. And that's what uh, kind of you need to make yourself understand, right? I mean, all of us saw that uh, Nika went IPO a couple of days back. Someone at the age of 50, already working 18 years at uh, Kotec Bank, at the age of 50, decided that I to start karna hai. Malab, Of course, unko usse do saal pehle mein rahi hogi, ke karte hai, karte hai, karte hai, ya fashion bechte online. But, but at the age of 50, she said, job chhod. I want to start. And she decided to start. And that was the first step and the most difficult step. The second part comes fir wo with the team, with idea kya hoga. Kyunke hum log na, we give a lot of uh, value to ki idea is the best. Malab, thing. Well, idea is, idea agar achha hoga toh it is going to fly. But that's not the truth. The, the real truth is something else only. Like all the best startups agar aap dekho, like Flipkart dekh lo, right? Amazon ki copy. Right? Ola dekh lo, right? Uber ki copy. Right? Best of the best ideas, like the biggest startup in India are just copy and paste. So it is not about copy and paste. It was not about the idea ever. It was about the person who like Bhavesh is our senior from IIT Bombay. But it is, it is never about the idea, it is about how he executed it, what desire he had and then he went all out for it. He, matlab, I'll raise funds for it, I'll make sure the product is becoming better, I'll stick to it. So there is this thousand day rule, like right, anything you start, you have to stick to it for at least the next thousand days. So you start something because you are going to want to skip it every say one month, two months, three months or every time you'll feel ki, let, let, I mean, I want to let it go. But you, if you stick to it for 1000 days, of course, you're going to get a, a result out of it. And, and that's what uh, is uh, uh, what I will desire or I'll want for all of you. So, yeah, I hope I answered your question. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, the next question is from Udayan Chakravarti. How does the roles of front-end developer differ from back-end developer in any IT sector? Right. Very interesting question and interestingly because I'm a product and tech guy, I am able to answer that. So, uh, uh, I mean, 
So if I have to just differentiate between a front-end developer and a back-end developer, that, so there is front-end, there is back-end and there is database. Okay. Uh, front-end is essentially whatever you look in the front, uh, like all this HTML, CSS, whatever you, so there are languages in front-end. Uh, React.js is one of those languages. React Native is again front-end language. So uh, 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 all these languages help you uh, I mean, in the front face of what is uh, coming, uh, like like how you are able to see the screen, there, there are these logos, there are this alignment, there is a distance, there is a padding, there's a margin. All of this is being developed by a front-end developer. All the buttons, all of this is developed by a front-end developer. A back-end developer essentially looks after the functionality. So now, like the mic button is being set by the front-end developer, but but like on clicking the mic button, what is going to happen? The API is going to trigger on the back end. The data is going to change from mute to unmute or unmute to mute. All of that is being set by a back end developer. And in back end, of course, there are a lot of different languages, right? I mean, PHP is one of those languages. Um, uh, there, are, there are a lot of Node.js is one of those languages. And then comes the database and database also is a very essential component. Like, right, where do you store all of it? And database, of course, you, you must have already heard of MySQL. Um, there is MongoDB, there is Cassandra DB, which Facebook uses. So there, there are a lot of databases also which are part of it. So there is front end, back end, and databases. Um, and a full stack developer is someone who kind of does the entire piece. Like he can actually code a front end, a back end, as well as the database. So, I mean, if any of you want to know, like, and, and one thing which I would have done differently or I would have kind of, I will guide all of you to kind of do, I don't know, irrespective of whether you are a, a mechanical engineer or a civil engineer or any other engineer. Technology is driving a lot of things. Being a civil engineer also will mean that you may work in a civil tech company, which means like by coding, you may still remain in civil, but you will be contributing to technology of that company and not contributing to like um, uh, being on the civil aspect of it. So this is very interesting. So, so one, uh, uh, one of the stacks, which is going very hot. I mean, of course, like what the market is claiming market may claim that hey, blockchain karlo, data science ka course karlo, ya some machine learning engineer ban jau. But, uh, I would like to give you some things which are very achievable and for you to, and, and a lot of jobs out there for you. So, so Mern stack is something which is very hot MongoDB. Uh, uh, there is React.js, there is Node.js and React Native is a, a cross development platform uh, which helps you develop apps across Android, iOS and web. So React Native is another another thing. So these are a few uh, stacks. I would suggest that if, if any of you are thinking that hey, which stack should I prepare myself for so that I have a better opportunity at a job. These are the few stacks which I would uh, highly recommend for you guys to learn stack uh, and React Native, of course, uh, as a cross development platform for apps. Uh, so yeah, so these are a few things which I would suggest you. Yeah. Thanks for the in-depth solution, sir. The next question is from Bharti Roy and she's asking, what do you enjoy the most about being an entrepreneur? And what do you find most challenging about being an entrepreneur? Right. Uh, so this is a very interesting uh, question. Uh, I like the most what I enjoy about being an entrepreneur, of course, is um, uh, the the it's essentially around the energy with which uh, uh, I mean you can build things. So you, you can essentially build a lot of things. You can essentially bring things to life which are not uh, uh, there already. And this is very critical or very, very interesting. Like you get to see, I mean, one is actually you having an idea about things and two is actually you uh, making it to come to life. And, and that is something which is very, uh, 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 very important for you to kind of, uh, uh, kind of bringing things to life is something as an entrepreneur, you would always love to kind of do. And, uh, uh, and the second part, which you, uh, which you actually asked about is essentially uh, is is about like what do what is not uh, so uh, uh, what what I don't like about maybe being an entrepreneur. So I I, I, would, I mean once you have the hang of being an entrepreneur, you would not want to. Uh, uh, I mean you would not you don't want to do any. I mean you kind of get ruined for. Um, I mean being an entrepreneur because you you cannot kind of go back to doing something else. Uh, but of course, there are always challenges. I mean, in the last 10 years, uh, I mean, be it a weekend or be it all these holidays or Diwali or anything like that. 
being an entrepreneur and being like there, there are pros to being your own boss but there are also cons to being your own boss because you're your own boss you have to be more responsible you have to make sure that be it sunday or be it evenings or be it uh, holidays you have to keep working so so i mean someone who gets a hang of it of course cannot kind of go out of it uh, but but it comes with a lot of sacrifices it comes with a lot of i mean the journey itself is a very lonely journey and for any of you who want to kind of start or who want to kind of um uh, build your own venture i would highly recommend that you for sure do it with a co-founder uh, so that like in uh, like at some point you may want to not do it or they may want to not do it but at least when you are two of you you can kind of pull each other up to make sure that you do it at least for 1000 days as i suggested like if you do it for 1000 days uh, and if you don't die in 1000 days you'll of course kind of keep keep going and you'll become so big that i mean uh, of course you're going to do wonders Next, we have Priyanka, and she is asking how the idea of exponents came in your mind. Yeah. So, uh, interestingly, I mean, around exponents, uh, I mean, it's it was a very interesting uh, this thing for me. I mean, the the process of uh, the the process of uh, uh, kind of thinking about exponents in the last ten years. I've like as I mentioned, like me and my co-founder, both of us have. Uh, uh both of us have actually hired across different colleges we have taken like uh, we have actually taken interviews which are uh, uh like more than 5000 interviews across india we have actually hired people from say a college in hyderabad a college in bhopal a lot of these different places uh but but what we realized is the finishing school was missing like a lot of people were not having the right help to kind of land the right opportunity and this is very interesting i mean when um uh, uh, i mean i used to take it very for very much for granted like that that in college i got to work on my resume and my seniors helped me on making my resume perfect or gave me the right connects where i can go to but this is missing in a lot of colleges this is missing in a lot of tier 2 tier 3 cities and and a lot of these places and and that's where we realized that hey we want to build something which can help uh, a lot of students out there Uh, another interesting thing which came to us was the technology part of it where um, i mean we didn't want to just um, uh, i mean we we knew that an expert can help you in your journey but this expert can not just i mean this expert cannot be just uh, someone uh, i mean because this expert is someone who will have very limited time so say if i have to guide one person and say if i have to help thousands of people or 10000s of people or millions of people and we said hey why not use technology to kind of make sure that we are able to give them the right um, uh, with, with technology can can i make a video bot of jatin which can help actually millions of people and that's where the idea of this video bot and that's where the idea of kind of expertrons came to us that hey let's make video bots of lot of these experts now this 5000 experts cannot just help 5000 people at a time they can actually help 5 million 50 million 500 million people at a time and they'll have their pre recorded content and you can talk to their pre recorded content so that makes it really useful so yeah that's the idea there so bharti is again asking what marketing tactics do you find most effective for reaching new customers uh very interesting question uh, of course i mean there are offline strategies there are online strategies b2c b2b2c strategies in b2b2c of course i am, like i'm sure you understand that we have to reach to a college and via college we can reach to a lot of um uh, via college we can actually reach to a lot of uh, uh, end users who are kind of using this and on the b2c front of course there is organic and there is inorganic and inorganic of course uh, we mean our social media reach and where we have our reels where we have our youtube videos through which people are wanting to reach and on the on the paid marketing side of course across facebook instagram linkedin a lot of paid marketing which is helping us reach to a lot of new users Uh, but what i believe in firmly is for you to kind of um, do it in a very interesting way uh, to hack your growth and this is very important like to hacking your growth is uh, such a important factor for you to kind of uh, land that right uh, end user at low and low cost and and if you are able to do that of course this is a very uh, uh, this will help you grow in a very uh, proper way so there are always hacks around acquiring a user at a low cost so say for us all the audience was lying in a college and maybe for you uh, if you are building something which is useful to uh, 
um, uh, 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 a particular audience like, like there are some bands for say a college festival thing so you have to reach out to say college festivals and then reach out to your audience or maybe to someone who are in a corporate cafeteria so you have to make sure that your product reaches to a corporate cafeteria so so of course i mean your audience is lying somewhere but you need to find the best way you can hack and reach out to your end audience Thank you so much, sir. The last question is from Paul Sena, and he is asking: So, what are your views on the future of crypto in India? Amazing. So, really interesting question. Uh, of course, I'm not the subject matter expert to kind of answer this, but uh, I'll kind of take a, uh, <laughs> I'll just take a jab at what what this is. Again, I mean, interestingly, our like one of my batchmates' company, uh, uh, Coin DCX, has uh, now reached a unicorn status. Uh, and a lot of my other batchmates are also pursuing something in the crypto space altogether. And uh, so this is this is very interesting. I mean, um, the, the whole concept of blockchain, the whole concept of cryptocurrency is about decentralizing. As I, as I like how I started the Expertron's conversation where I said that this content was only available to a few. Like some people knew how to crack Google. And they were helping their juniors and they were helping their juniors. But now what we did is we decentralized it and we made it available to everyone. Similarly, <coughs> on the crypto side, it is about decentralizing the financial powers which are just lying with the bank. So uh, I do see a lot of potential in how it is just, we are just scratching the surface of how it is getting decentral, how it is going to get more in use and how more and more countries, more and more companies are accepting use of cryptocurrency or transfer of cryptocurrency. So I do see a lot of potential in terms of uh, where crypto market is heading. Of course, we have to be very careful about um, all the mean coins which are coming out, which which of course may seem that there is there is a 600% growth uh, or there is a 3000% growth in the in those like how a squid game cryptocurrency came out a few days back and it was doing well and it crashed because, because that was just set to kind of... Uh, uh, the, the people uh, who kind of uh, coined that, uh, that that coin or who were mining that coin essentially took out the value out of it and a lot of investors lost a lot of money in that process. So it is very important to like, especially with with the, uh, uh, with, with, with the market which is new to you, with, with the market which you are still understanding, it is very important that and with any financial investment you do, it is very important that there is a lot of research which you do in, in that particular market. And of course, there are al already a stack of stable coins like bitcoins ethereum a lot of solano a lot of these which which uh, people are used to kind of uh, investing so so and it, it it is the same advice which i'll kind of give for for be it investing in a crypto or be it investing in a mutual fund or in a stock you have to be you have to do your research before you kind of uh, put in any of your money there and uh, and uh, and for the other part where you kind of want to work in that space of course you have to start from the basic like you have to understand blockchain and you have to kind of build on your own credibility you have to build on your own experience knowledge around it and then kind of you'll be in a position to kind of build something in that particular space so yeah that's that's all uh, like that's my two cents on the on the crypto space thank you so much sir i hope all the queries of audiences are solved thank you very much sir for your time and the insightful session thank you very much for being a part of ead northeast and helping entrepreneurship sell id karakpur in our mission to foster the spirit of entrepreneurship in india thanks a lot thanks uh, so much prakriti uh, it was wonderful talking to all of you uh, interestingly i mean you can also share my email id with like jatin at expertrons.com with all of them if they have any questions yes. and also by the way we are hiring interns so uh, we are now a team size of 300 people based out of mumbai so any of you looking for internship or uh, are, are wanting to kind of uh, gain experience out of a startup, we'll be more than happy to kind of uh, uh, help you with that. And uh, also, yeah, do check out the app. And yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot for this opportunity, Prakriti. Uh, thanks all of you for attending and for all the wonderful questions. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, before concluding, I would like to tell the audience about Empresario, the annual business model competition organized by Entrepreneurship Cell IIT Kharagpur. ESEL is always searching for innovative and enterprising ideas through Empresario. Empresario provides a platform for students to get excellent professional mentorship for our experienced and distinguished mentor pool and to showcase their ideas in front of venture capitalists, angel investors, and industry leaders to get a chance to win prizes worth 50 lakh rupees. 
Finally, I would like to thank everybody for attending today's event. By this, we mark the end of our month-long EAD LSM sessions. Thank you all for being a part of us throughout. We will come up with more such initiatives. Do check out Entrepreneurship Cell on Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn for further updates. Till then, thank you once again and hope to see you at future. Thank you so much.